Welcome to Parade Handmade. Now, I've had a lot of trouble deciding what to do this week. I have a list about that long. I wrote them all out, but I waited until today to really feel what is coming through as the thing to do today. So at the moment, we're transitioning into autumn. I found a really good project, I think. For me, it's great. We're coming into autumn. Really, we feel we're at the end of summer in Ireland. It's at the end of coming towards the end of August. We think summer is August, but it isn't. It's really already autumn. But let's just say we're definitely coming into autumn now soon into September. Kids going back to school. And besides that, we celebrate the Mayo Dark Skies here in Mayo at this time of the year. And anyway, it's a lovely time of year to start looking outside and seeing the stars and seeing the night sky and the leaves falling and the whole thing that autumn brings. So I just allowed myself to go with that whole feeling and to sort of incorporate it into what we've been doing recently. So I have decided on this particular subject. Now, that's the theme of the project. First of all, I would like to say hi to subscriber number 25 and 26 and 27, 28, 29 and 30. I think that's a pretty good collection of new subscribers and I can't actually believe it, but I, you're very welcome. You are super welcome. Hopefully now we can have a few things that are of interest for you in the coming weeks. The project at hand. Keeping with our latest applique theme, another theme, I decided to take out my plain grey sweatshirt. It's a recycle, so it's from a bag. Happens to be an extra large Primark. Not that that matters. It's from Penny's. It's our big Penny's store here. And it's an extra large. It's grand. I could wear it like that, but I want to change it up. Of course. Of course. My plan entails, once again, applique, which I'm loving at the moment. So I have a piece of fusible lining. I got the word right this time because I practiced before I said it. So this is sticky on one side. Well, it will be when you heat it. It's got glue. It's dry glue, but it's dry on one side. You put, your, you put it on your piece of material, sticky side down, or at least glue side down, and then you iron on a hot iron. So I'm going to do that with some really nice, kind of night sky shades, I think. That would really work. I might do some white as well for some, or shiny, maybe silvery or goldy. It doesn't matter what you have. You can do this with me if you have some fusible lining or even if you just have some tough material or some other kind of backing that would work too. But I'm going to make some stars. First of all, I'm going to put that lining on the back of a few pieces of these colors so I can cut out the shapes that I want from that piece. And then I'll go about placing them down on my sweatshirt. I'm going to take off this neck, but I'm going to take it off very close to the line. I'm not going to cut down yet. I'm going to take off the neck first because what I want to do today is bring the neck down a little bit in the front, but I don't want to bring it down so far in the back. I want to keep that back up. So because I want to wear this in autumn and winter and whenever. So not that I want to mention the W word just yet. So I'm going to cut off the top and then I'm going to get my French curves and make a little bit of a V here, some kind of a dip here in the front just to break the width here. So first things first, I'm going to cut out this neck piece and I'm going to just start by being brave and making a hole. Yep, there you go. I'm very brave with the scissors, you might know already. In you go. Perhaps I should have done this on the inside, I would have had a better visual of the stitching, but as you know, I'm a bit gung-ho with the scissors and I don't always I kind of throw caution to the wind. Let's carry on. A little bit of a bump over there. Mind your fingers through. You can keep that for later. You might use it. This is what I have to work with. I like a lower neckline. So a good idea would be to get the center point here. So I just pull it like this. Match up the seams. Get the center point. I'm going to do a nick. 
because I'm going to definitely cut down there. So that's OK. I don't have to get the pins out or anything like that. I think I'm not going to go super low or anything, but I'd just like it not to be just a V. I'd like it to have a little bit more of a poisonality. Say I want it to come from here. Down to about there. So how would that look? I wonder are these too short? I'm going to be careful this time. And not go too short. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to just cut down straight. I'm going to find the centre. Cut down straight about two inches. Because I went very low the last time. And it was okay. But I can wear my blue sweatshirt with nice t-shirts. I'm just going to go down there about. There. Less is more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shape from that point up to there. And it'll be the same on both sides because I've kept the sides together. If you know, I'm, I'm pretty brave with these things. Let me see. So I might just go from there up a little, down a little. It's not quite the same as you can see, but it's all right. And back up to the seam area. Yeah, look at that. So it goes like this. Here we have a fusible lining. Sticky side is there. It's not sticky until you iron with the hot iron. I have the iron on very hot. I have steam on it, but you don't need steam. You just need heat. And the same with this one. I like to iron on this rather than on the material, just in case the material is sensitive. And I know that this is not too sensitive to the heat. So that's one piece done. And now I'll do this one. I have a few. I'm going to do the same with the dark blue that I have there. This dark blue that you can see. And just to have a little bit of a few options. This is from cushions or material, it's upholstery material. But it's um, you might find something. You can use old clothes or you can use you know any bits of scraps that you have. So this, just as a last reminder, this is a backing on, on fabric to stop it from fraying when you're sewing and to give it a little bit more robustness over time. If you're at home now and you want to do this project and you've got some denim or you've got some material, don't worry, just go for it even without using the backing. Event, it won't last as long, but you'll probably get a good few wears out of it. And anyway, sometimes, depending on your project, a little bit of the tatty thing doesn't look bad. It looks better. This is the exciting part. You must get into the mood. Da 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 da. This is my bird. It is the main part of this design, besides the sweatshirt. This, you have to imagine, is a dusky evening sky. Da -da -da. These are the supplies. I have my pieces ironed. Whoops, have to re-strengthen that one, but that's okay. One, two, three. I've got a few different colours, as you can see, just to kind of combine. I went for a kind of a subtle beigey grey. It's shiny. That's for the stars. I have my cookie cutters, which are great for drawing out star shapes. And when you do use a star shape, if you've anything too pointy, you can soften the edges a little bit like a child's one. This is for a child's clay and you can soften the little star edges there just so that the material has an extra bit of strength on that area. I have my trusty sparkly thread. I love this. It's not to everyone's taste, but I like that. And I have a few beads. I love these beads. I have gazillions of beads, but I just keep bringing these out just on the in the hopes that I might use them. They're my French curves. You don't need these. And then I have some threads. I just like the look of. I may or may not use that, but it's just to bring out all your little bits. I have more, of course. I have my bead heaven. I may incorporate some of that, but I don't want to clutter the place with everything. Here comes the material that we prepared earlier. I do all my drawing on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is I would fancy. This is what I fancy doing. The bird coming down to land, the sky above here, featuring some nice stars twinkling, applique stars, different sizes, kind of dotted. And I would also somehow like to incorporate a kind of a branch with a few leaves coming from the dark sky. So what I'm going to do is create a little pile 
of pieces that I can play around with, a bit like fuzzy felt. Do you remember fuzzy felt when we were children? This is going to be some pale stars on the backing, on that lining. So I'm just going to draw out a star. I could try it, you know, freehand, but chances are it would go wrong for the camera and it would take forever. So I'm going to cut out a few of those. Bum, bum, bum. And I'm going to cut out a few smaller ones, not many. And I'm also going to do a moon, which I will do freehand, and this will be fun. So. This is the sweatshirt turned inside out. This is that dark piece of material. It's about that size. And I decided that I'm going to have the bird coming down on one side. So it's going to be on the left side. And this is going to be the dark sky behind it. So I've turned it upside down this inside out, that upside down, and I've slid it in so that I can cut out the curve exactly the same as that. And the remainder of it is going to be shooting off down into the, the sweatshirt, just like that. I just wanted to show you that so you know where it came from and how I did it. So I've just done a pencil line. I folded that away because this piece is going to go over the shoulder. So I folded it away. This part will show and I've drawn a little pencil line just enough so that I can see it roughly all the way down along there. So I'll take it out now and cut it and pin it and show you later. Now that's it on the front there cut out. It, it was a little bit wrong at the top. <laughs> I went around there and then I ended up going that way by accident a little more. So I just cut out the rest of the sweatshirt and keeping the back in. But I just cut out another little bit and I kind of edged it up there on the other side to be similar. So you can be more careful than me when you are doing it and that won't happen. So that is going to go up along there. I'll do a little some kind of a fancy stitch up along there. We'll figure that out later. And that's going to go over the shoulder. So I'm going to I will cut around there and then it'll all go over there and I'll finish it off on the back. I won't get rid of it. I'm going to have these nice rough edges that will go along with the seam. I don't want it on the shoulder necessarily. Well, on the, the sleeve. I'll just cut out a piece there. This is going to represent the night sky here. So this is going to, you know, the darkness of the sky. Evening dust coming in. So that's there. That's the shadows up above. I'm going to give a little bit more of a runway. I don't want this to be too far up the shirt. So I'm going to have this at some nice angle. It's a little bit abstract. That's okay. I want to benefit from I like these stitches as well. I kept those. I didn't have to go over there, but I like them. I want to benefit from the, the abstractness of the whole thing to bring in that imagination. So I'll maybe do something like this. So it's there now. And there I have a few pieces cut out. Definitely the, the, the moon will be against the dark sky. So I'll put the, the moon up there somewhere. It doesn't have to be. At, oh, that's a nice just kind of rings through there that's quite good we'll, I'll pin it in place and I'll put it on me just to make sure now I've cut out my stars and I'll just place them first this is what you do, need to do you need to see it in place you don't want anything that's too I want it nice and random and I want the these ones to stand out against the background so I want to have a little bit of blue overlapping there if you can see I might need to do another colour as well of a star just as an alternative. I want to make, leave some room for the stitching there. So it's OK. Anyway, play around with it like that. Just get your imagination going. Definitely need some more contrasting stars. I want to play with more atmosphere. I definitely need another colour. That nest will be down there. Definitely the bird is heading towards the nest. I'll cut out some eggs for the nest in some nice colourful fabric. I want to pick up some of this green, which I might do in some beads because they can be the little tiny sparkles in between. Maybe I can get some green sparkly beads from my bead heaven. And I'm going to do some stars in this and interplay with them there. That's what I'll do. I'm going to pin them down, try it on, see what it's like, make some stars with that, add it on, get my eggs cut out, put them there in my basket and figure out what kind of stitch is going to go on there. Now, briefly, I put some of that sticky lining on the back of some really a nice pillowcase in fact and then I cut out these little eggs and I'm going to fill my little nest no I don't think I'm going to fill up this little nest but I'll put a few in enough 
so that it looks full. I'm not entirely sure what positions I'll place them in. And I may have to have some backing, so a little bit of brown in there as well. So the bird is coming in toward the nest. And what I really want to do is, I'm not going to do it today, is add in some leaves. The next time I show you this, I'll have moved on with the project and I'll have my leaves incorporated. I think I might come in through here. It's just to kind of combine the sky and the tops of the trees. I'm going to pin those in place as I have pinned these. Try it on, make sure everything's all right. I'll have added a tiny little bit here and there and I'll move on with the project before showing you how it's going. So that'll be next week. So there you have it. Thank you for watching Parade Handmade this week. I hope you enjoyed that. I will show you how I'm getting on with that next week. But the project for next week is going to be a very cute little glasses holder or pencil case on a beaded strand. So you can hang it here or it's just easy to find then in your bag. You can use it for different purposes, but it's a very pretty little thing. I'm not entirely sure if we'll do some applique on it, but definitely some decorative pieces. A really sweet and really nice little project to do. It doesn't take a long, long time. The projects I've been doing till now, such as the sweatshirts, they do take time, but they're very enjoyable. And I really hope that you enjoyed this one today. And I'm looking forward to trying it on next week. Hopefully I'll get some work done on it during the week and be able to show you a little bit of progress next week. But if it's not too far along, I might hold off to the following week. But I'm hoping I'm aiming for that. So thanks again. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for our new subscribers. I'm really, really, really thrilled. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 if that's how it is <laughs> for next week. But they're never the same people. Well, sometimes they might be, but it's hard to tell. So good luck with your stuff and thanks for watching. Bye.